the Breeders' Cup Classic is next. This is one mile and two furlongs for many people, the highlight of the meeting. And it's on the dirt and the rain's coming down, so we may get sloppy conditions. And at the top, we've got Badouin Van Vlanderen for Leon Van Rensburg, Castle Frontano and Fuente Alamo for Darren Thompson, Major Trickster for David Hooley, San Jose Brilliance for Vinnie Gerard, Sir Val David Hooley, Alaskan Hestia and Amber Angels both for Craig Allen, Dakar Girl for Dan Hughes, Iron Mike and Marketeer both for Paul Rhodes, Mexican Cowboy Leon Van Rensburg, The Drunken Legend, Josh Russell and Green Mantle, Craig Beckwith and Prickles Burn for David Robertson. So a field of 15 then in this one. And an immediate turn. So the ones on the outside might be caught out when they're away and racing. And it's the Drunken Legend and San Jose Brilliance that are fighting out for the lead at the moment. Prickles Burn is close up. So to his castle for Antano. But sorted themselves out through the first furlong. I say it looks like San Jose Brilliance has managed to fend off everybody trying to get across to that fence and has got the lead. And we've seen already today that if you've got that lead, it's not easy to keep it, but it's very difficult to get past the leader. We've seen one or two pillar to post wins already today, and it looks like the jockey on San Jose Brilliance has noted that and has quickly gone three clear. So passing the post with a circuit to go, San Jose Brilliance has got a clear lead and have a good three or four lengths to Major Trickster who's still slightly wide on the track. So too is Iron Mike, the grey Alaskan Hestia has now moved through in the second. The second grey, Castle Frantano, is also there going well. Drunken Legend is well placed on the inside. Prickles Burns got a good berth as well. Uh, Mexican Cowboys trying to make a run through, looking towards the back. Dakar Girl and Marketeer are going to have to pass everybody to win this. They've already passed the five foot long pole then and it's San Jose Brilliance in the lead in the classic from Alaskan Hestia in second then comes Castle Frentano Serval is now making a move around the outside Badouin Van Vlanderen is trying to get into it Fuente Alamo also come with a run around the outside one or two of these don't seem worried about coming wide to make a challenge around the turn and San Jose Brilliance is going to get a kick off this and he's going to probably make a couple of lengths out of them I would think it's San Jose Brilliance who's in the lead from Alaskan Hestia in second then Badouin Van Vlanderen and Fuente Alamo is next and then um, uh, Mexican Cowboys trying to get into it as well but it's San Jose Brilliance who's still clear by two San Jose Brilliance with coming up to a furlong and a half to go and it's San Jose Brilliance Alaska Nestia Prickles Burn in a big race here comes Castle Frantano but it's San Jose Brilliance is this going to be another one that wins from the front San Jose Brilliance is beginning to tire here comes Alaska Nestia and Castle Frantano he needs to line the leader and now it's Alaska Nestia that swoops and Alaska Nestia is going to take it from a fast finishing drunken legend Alaska Nestia wins it also finishing well was Amber Angels and it may well have been a Craig Allen 1-2 in the end and San Jose Brilliance couldn't quite hang on and Craig Allen sweeps and he has indeed got a, another 1-2 and this is to be his swan song in the league he's going out with a bang as Alaskan Hestia takes that one for Craig Allen Amber Angels second Drunken Legend for Joshua Sutherland, third. San Jose Brilliance, the long-time leader for Vinnie Gerald, was fourth. And Castle Frentano for Darren Thompson was fifth.